It could be that evidence that breaks the Skelton case wide open. Tonight, we're diving into the potential clues found thousands of miles away. The human remains found in a small Montana town put the focus back on the Skelton boys years after their disappearance. And our Sandra Ali asked John Skelton about these new developments when she sat down with him in prison. His answers may surprise you. Thousands of miles away from Morency, Michigan, a discovery made in Montana back in the fall set off a chain of events, fear and panic when it became public last December. Bones discovered in a shed. Could this new discovery be tied to the Morency case? And what would happen once John Skelton heard about the bones while in prison? This is the tiny two bedroom cottage on a residential street in Missoula, Montana. The house vacant since last September when the old tenants were evicted. The property owner hired a professional cleaning crew to scrub the place from top to bottom. When the cleaners started going through this shed in the backyard, they found a box and made a horrific discovery. It was a pretty simple um, assessment for us because there wasn't a lot uh, of material to work with. Police reached out to anthropologist Kirsten Green at the University of Montana. She determined the bones belonged to three children and estimated their ages to be between two and four, six and ten, and five to eight years old. Were there any missing children's cases in the city of Missoula? Police in Missoula admitted they were puzzled. Then came word Michigan State Police confirmed they were working with Missoula police to see if there's a connection between the Bones and Andrew Alexander and Tanner Skelton. We try very hard not to jump to any conclusions or make any um, assumptions. Unfortunately, with children uh, and children remains, all you can really do is, is sex and minimum number. John Skelton watched the news coverage from prison. In one of his early letters, he wrote, I am still processing all the negative stories about me on the news a few weeks ago. I am not ready for an interview. Those news stories really jeopardized my safety and quite a few people no longer speak to me. It was one of the first things John talked about during our interview. He said once fellow inmates heard about the discovery in Montana, they started calling him a child killer, a monster, and they promised they would find a way to retaliate against him. When I asked John what his first reaction was when he heard about the bones, he said, when I saw it on the news, I just rolled my eyes. When I pushed him further, he said, yeah, those are not my boys. Police in Montana called for more forensic testing. The bones being analyzed right now in a lab at the University of North Texas. Back to you.